Hello and welcome to First Canada's FTC SIM Tutorials. This series is about how to use FTC SIM, a first tech challenge robot simulator created by First Canada. So welcome. So hopefully you'll, you'll love this and uh, you'll want to try it out. It's free. Uh, if you go to the uh, First Canada website, you can find it right up here. You can see First Canada, firstroboticscanada.org slash FTC SIM. And it'll take you to this page, uh, some information about it. And of course, uh, here's where you create an account and you're ready to go. So we're ready to go. So I've logged in. This is the main screen that you got to when you come in. And it shows you uh, three basic things. On the left side over here is uh, where you find your coding blocks. Here's where you put your coding blocks. And here is the challenge that's been set. So this is the first challenge and the challenges typically are you have to run your robot from where it starts, uh, and close to the flag to, to complete the challenge. Now, I, I just want to give you some idea of what's available, uh, before we get into it. So, um, up here in the menu, we see a whole bunch of challenges that are listed. In fact, there's 30 challenges. There are some other things that are there as well. For example, there is some documentation. And the documentation includes, when I go here to the robot simulator, it includes some of the uh, blocks that you can use and some descriptions. So that's uh, typically pretty helpful. Uh, if we go back, we can go to... Um, robotics which is, is where you have to go to get there and you can see there's a ftc sim for simulator page and what i want to show is that when you go here it gives you some idea of what the challenge is both in uh text format explains a little bit and it shows you an overview an overhead shot of what the challenge looks like so it's kind of kind of neat to see what that is that's a new add-in that's uh been put up just recently so hopefully you'll enjoy that um, we're going to go back to that first challenge so challenge one so i can go through here and there's some information there that i can look at or i can go and choose it from there it's, it's the same thing and whatever challenge you choose once you go into that challenge you will see that you have this blocks environment so the blocks environment this is what it looks like when you start off uh, it has a couple parts to it so there's the outer block this is a function that's run when you click on go here and you can set in some initialization blocks uh, for example typically uh, there's two motors here on the back wheels one on each wheel and uh, if I don't change one of them to reverse it will uh, cause just the robot to spin so um, because they're end-to-end they'll spin in different directions as you'll see. So typically you'll put something in initialization blocks to do that. If you're running, uh, not based on time, but based on ticks in an encoder on the motor, you would have to do some initialization there too. So the next thing is you would then put some code blocks in here where it says, uh, where this remark or comment says run blocks here. And you'll see that they're all puzzle pieces, sort of. They s slot into each other, which is not uh, new anymore. Lots of programming languages are like this blocks language. So um, just to do this really quickly, we're going to make it move a little bit. So I'm going to uh, put in the DC motor. And I'm going to say that I want to actually do both of them at the same time. So I'm going to set the block in to go. So this will point out what I was talking about with uh, one of them needs to be reversed because they're spinning in opposite directions at full power. Full power is one. It'll make it go forward as fast as it can go, maximum power. And the range is from negative one, which is go full power backwards, to uh, full power forwards, which is one. So I'm going to reset that one. And I'm going to go back up here and to the actuators and I'm going to set and I'm going to set the direction. So I'm going to set the direction of the left motor to reverse, click on it again. And now we see it goes forward, but um, it doesn't stop. It goes right through. So we have to figure this out. So one of the ways that we can do that is say we want it to do this 
a certain amount of time. So we're going to make it go for a thousand milliseconds. So, um, and then what we want it to do is we want it to stop after a thousand milliseconds, but it doesn't do that. So we actually have to tell it to stop. So we're going to go and get that dual again. And we're going to tell it that once uh, a thousand milliseconds has elapsed, it can stop doing this command. So that's what it's saying. It says do this command and keep doing it until a thousand milliseconds has elapsed and then go to the next command. So let's see what happens. Oh, it only goes so far. So let's say we'll put in 2000. And again, this is trial and error. So that's two seconds. We'll reset it and try it again. And oh, that's too far. So let's take it and uh, we'll go to maybe, oh, I don't know, 1500. Let's see what, oops, that's a little bit much. 1500, let's see what happens. Close enough, it says that's great, and it does it. And somehow I've clicked on my, uh, I used my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in there. Now you could, at this point, go to the next one, but we're just going to stop at this point and say this is uh, great to do for the first one. Don't forget, you've got to save it. It doesn't save it automatically. You've got to save it. And later on in the further tutorials, we'll take a look at color sensors and distance center sensors, some of the basic programming concepts of logic, loops, some math that's in there. Math's always a good thing. Some text that you might want to display as you're doing stuff, arrays potentially. You are definitely going to have to create some variables. And then there's some miscellaneous things that keep getting added in as we go along. So we're going to take a look at a bunch of those things as we go along in this series. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me at P Keenan, K E E N A N, at firstinspires.org. And I uh, hope you'll join us in our next video. And I hope you'll log in and go and see what the FTC Sim is all about. Thanks again.